And uh, I'm joined now by two members of Plumtree, uh, Amanda Braden and Carla Gillis. How are you? Good, good. And good. you were saying as we started to play that song that it was strange to hear that song at all. Yeah, it's one that we don't play live in our set. And uh, it was just a really simple song when we made it. And it only took like a couple seconds to learn. <laughs> and then we just kind of forgot about it after a while. We decided to record it. I'm not sure why. But yeah. It's, it's, well, it's, it's not really a bad weird. song or anything. We just, it's just uh, yeah, like I've almost forgotten that it's even on CD. <laughs> but. Well, we get, we get requests for it, so we thought we'd play it. Now, you're halfway through a two-month Cross Canada tour, but we'll talk about that in a minute. First, we're going to hear a song for you, and what are we going to hear? Um, this is called Sodium Chloride, and it's a, a bit peppier live, perhaps, but uh, we're just going to play it acoustic, so here goes. Okay. One, two, three, four. And sorry, the song was called what? Sodium chloride? Sodium chloride. And, and why would you name a song cl Sodium chloride? Uh, well, actually, the uh, uh, sort of abbreviation for it is NACL. And uh, before our original bassist departed to go to school in Montreal, um, each letter stood for the first letter of our names. Wow. Yeah, so NACL. Yeah, like Nina, Amanda, Carla, Lynette. Wow. So, uh, we were going to make it even more like vague and everything and just call it table salt. <laughs> but, but <laughs> We thought we were getting a bit too. Yeah, no one would ever figure it out. So. If you would like to speak with either Amanda or Carla or both of Plumtree, you can give us a call at 1-800-563-2328. And by the way, this is directed at you two, Mr. Tunnel, does that make any sense to you? Mr. Tunnel called and wants to know what bands you love. Oh. Hmm. Do you know, do you know Mr. Tunnel like or is that just some kind of thing? Okay. I don't think we do. But uh, what bands we like? Yeah. Um, we We kind of... There's like two so two halves to the band. <laughs> Me and the drummer, who's also my sister, we're really into heavy music and, and punk music and stuff. So um, we sort of bring a heavier element to the, the band, whereas Amanda... I'm like, sort of more poppy. I really like Prince and <laughs> Elvis Costello. And a lot of the sort of, 
you know, typical, great, amazing bands that everyone says they love. And I really like a band called Heavenly, now on K Records. Um, so they're from the UK. So just a lot of just kind of poppy music like that. Yeah, and our new bass player is really big on blues. She's actually a blues harpist. And uh, but she picked up bass in December and joined our band. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of all over the place. Now, this is your first tour to the West Coast, and I'm assuming that... Now, have, you, have you ever been to Vancouver before? No, no not even our, personally, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is our first time. It's pretty exciting. So what yeah. did you think driving through the mountains and all that? I, I, was really, I felt sick that day, so I was kind of asleep. But, um, but you know, they're all around you, so like I yeah. can see them now, too. It's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah, you wake up, and you're just like, oh, it's so breathtaking. It's crazy. And yeah. what about tacky sort of touristy things to do along the way? Did you see anything good? Oh, the Wawa Goose? Yeah, we saw the Wawa Goose, which is in... Um, Wawa? Wawa. <laughs> it's the biggest goose in the world. And we saw the Sudbury Nickel. Yeah, the big... the big. Uh, it's not even a copper nickel. It's like stainless steel or no, something. Yeah, <laughs> a nickel nickel. Yeah, yeah. And so um, <laughs> we saw a couple things like that. We Oh, we went to see Lake Louise. Yeah, and just places like that. And we always pass by. I mean, you'd be surprised how many big, gaudy... Things are <laughs> like along like, the side of the yeah, highway. Like big, big Have you ever traveled through the things? states driving? Yeah, uh, not uh, not extensively. But well, they, okay. they have more big, gaudy, yeah. ugly things on yeah. the sides of the roads. But every, it's we have that to look forward to. Yeah. yeah. Every town has their like, like home of the largest, you know, cinnamon cinnamon bun. Bun. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, so you're gonna play another song for us now, and what would that be? Um, it's called Three Thirty on the Hill, and it's off our CD too. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. Have at. <laughs> I wanted to apologize I never said that you were wrong I can't believe that you did it to Until you made me feel so dumb Although I haven't seen you yet Now, after traveling across Canada for the first time, 
Well, you know, earlier we had uh, a woman from a band giving us tips about driving and everything. What would ti what would be the tips that you would give people, maybe their first time or driving across Canada, even people who are just driving, not even band people, but just bands and things yeah. like that? I guess most of our advice would come from a sort of very budget-restricted <laughs> standpoint, because <laughs> we're all really poor. So, like, um, one tip would be, buy, like, in terms of buying food and stuff, I'd definitely go to a grocery store rather than yeah. anywhere else, like, you know, little shops at the side of the road or, or uh, you know, gas station places or yeah. restaurants. Avoid those places. Yeah. The go to the grocery store. The food at grocery stores is way cheaper and makes you feel a lot better. And Yeah, like you can, um, like, go buy a banana for 14 yeah. cents or something. It's yeah. really cool. So it's pretty good. And also, I guess, I mean, if you're driving across Canada, I mean, I don't think we really realized when we were in Ontario... I mean, everything, all the shows we played in southern Ontario were like, you know, an hour, an hour and a half away from each other. And from Ottawa to Toronto was such a big drive, but now it's like, you know, 12 hours. Yeah. And it's There's ridiculous. There's like five of us in a five-passenger van, so... Yeah. Yeah, so I guess another thing would just to try to keep pretty organized. And the way our van is, is everything fits in perfectly. We have no extra room, so if anything's missing, there's a hole somewhere. So that's sort of good in a way, because then it's like, oh, somebody's missing their, yeah. you know, pillow. Or yeah. <laughs> like, make sure you have things to do. I got a uh, travel Scrabble game for my birthday, and it helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, so. it's pretty fun. She's pretty obsessed with it, though. I'm so, like, obsessed. <laughs> stay, in, stay up until like 4 o'clock in the morning working on the stupid Scrabble kit. <laughs> anyway. I, I hear you pulled, it, uh, pulled in a little tight uh, with time, or for time, to your show last night. Oh. You're a little late? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were a little late, yeah. We, we called the club to let them know that we'd be a little late. But, um, I think there was a little kind of mix up and it was kind of <laughs> tense when we got there, but we still got to play. They were gracious we enough to play. them. <laughs> And uh, and it was really fun. I guess we just hadn't sort of anticipated, you know, the stops on the way and things like that. Yeah. So it was a pretty long drive. We d did we drive from Edmonton? From um, from Edmonton. Calgary. Calgary. No, it was Calgary. Calgary. We, dr we drove from Calgary. Yeah. So. so it was pretty amazing. But, like, by the time we got there, we were rushing so fast that our mm -hmm. adrenaline was totally <laughs> pumping, and we had a great show. So. Yeah, it was really fun. Well, that's yeah. good. Okay, you're going to play one more song for us tonight, and then I will inform people where you're playing tonight. What are you going to play for us last here? Uh, it's called Scott Pilgrim. It's not on the CD, but it's going to be on a split 7-inch that we're doing with the Inbreds, and that's yeah. coming out in probably around the fall sometime. And it's normally like a big rocker. <laughs> normally, yeah. But it's toned down a bit for okay. you guys. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yep.
There you are, ladies and gentlemen, Plumtree. Actually, I should say Amanda Braden and Carla Gillis of Plumtree. And I thank you for coming in tonight. Oh, thanks yes, a lot. Thank you. It was very enjoyable. And I should say Plumtree, you, will be playing tonight in Vancouver at the St. Saint James Square, which is 3214 West 10th Avenue. And if you're in the Vancouver area, it's sort of on your way up to UBC and stuff. It's, it's kind of like a church, and you play in the basement. Yeah. I've been there. It's all ages. Yeah, that's yeah, right. So if you're five years old, you can come. <laughs> what, what if you're two years old? Yeah, oh, then you can come, too. What if you're 80? Yep. yep. All right. <laughs> Other bands include the Potato Men from California, the Softies, featuring Rose, who I, I know you're excited to meet. Oh, yes. I love the Softies. So. Yes. And uh, Gaze. So uh, tickets are six bucks at the door. And again, I thank you for coming in. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and have a good show tonight. Thanks. And we're going to go out with the Softies, and this is the Softies. He'll never have to know. Mm -hmm.